In this video, we're driving through the back roads of the Ho Chi Minh Road. On the way to Wei, but then something unexpected happens. We are properly in the jungle. Hi, Hi we, we are Kiara and Rob. In 2020, we sold everything we had and we started traveling. We like to explore out of the touristy spot and spend more time in each place we visit. Our goal is to learn more about the local culture, try new foods, and connect with amazing people. Subscribe and join our adventure as we take you with us around the world. And the sky is blue because we went so high. We're above the clouds. <laughs> Gosh, that was a nice drive. <laughs> yeah, Pikachu returns. Yes, it's so hot. I wonder why. <laughs> I think we crossed like three or four motorbikes, that's all. It's just incredible. This is so far the most spectacular drive we've done in Vietnam. Absolutely. Hands up. <laughs> no, hands down. Hands down. Hands down. <laughs> <laughs> If we can go one further. Hey. This is intense. <laughs> wow. Okay, here is very thick. This is becoming a bit dangerous at this stage. Yeah, let's pull over on the right. We stopped at a clear area, clear, and we don't know how long this is gonna be until the clouds clear up, but we don't have any signal, any cell phone signal up here. Um, it's pretty remote. There is I haven't seen any villages or anything. I mean, if you're stuck here and the motorbikes, you know, can't start, then we're stuck. You can wait forever. Yeah, we have, we've only seen like two motorbikes in the past hour and a half. So yeah, we'll just kind of wait it out and see. We have yeah. snacks. <laughs> Cause Pikachu gets hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say that it's over. Uh, yeah, I, think, I hope so. All the jungle that you see on the right side, it's all part of the Phong Nha National Park, all the way to the border with Laos, which is not really far. All right, let's keep going. They smell like goat cheese. <laughs> I'm ready to be a buffalo right now. I'm relaxed by the water. We've been going down Vietnam since Hanoi. <laughs> yeah, like, like that. <laughs> We're getting there slowly and just enjoying the journey along the way. You know, that's the idea. This is beautiful though. Oh, wow. I got that on camera, he, he flicked me. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. We uh, just woke up from this remote jungle countryside village. This is the sound of nature. It's a beautiful view, but yeah, so we're leaving. <laughs> we're gonna get out a bit early and... Uh, I wanna see the Vim Mok tunnels and hopefully we're also going to the beach. <laughs> We drove for uh, 20 minutes, <laughs> but we had to stop to look at this one. The water is so clear. So, slight problem. We just left the hotel and to get away from all that noise. And we left the spare fuel tank because we thought there was plenty of gas stations, but they're all closed because it's Sunday. So we don't have enough fuel. <laughs> So come join us on our epic adventure. <laughs> Never a dull moment. We stopped here just for a quick bite to eat so we're not stressed and hungry. <laughs> At least, you know, we have a full belly. Yeah, without a fuel full tank. <laughs> I wanted to see the Vim Mok tunnels for so long because I know very little about Vietnam history, especially about the, the war. If you come to Vietnam, it's actually a day trip from Hue 
get a guide and it will explain everything to you. It's unreal how they built 114 tunnels all in this region. They took almost 20 months to build them all. And people lived here from 1966 to 1972 for six years. They had babies, they had schools, they had a maternity, they had um, hospitals. It was a village, it was just a village underground. No lights, they had to cook in there, they had to do everything. It's wow. Driving to Wave, we saw people drying shrimp on the street, but we couldn't believe what we saw. I mean, these are like shrimp, many shrimps on the street. I honestly don't understand if they put them out to dry, so I'm not sure what they're doing. Yeah. But anyway, they're like sweeping them off the floor from the street. <laughs> off, off the road, yeah. Yeah, please someone explain to us because we don't know. Yeah. What's going on? Is it like donkey? Is it normal? I mean, it's normal, obviously. Does it end up in our... I mean, oh. they can't wash it because it, they're dry. Of course, no, so you cannot wash you it. You just have to brush off the dirt. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Mm. It's more civilized on tarp, at least. There's some on the road. A lot on the road. <laughs> so, okay, obviously they are drying them. That's the best way to dry them, apparently. <laughs> yeah. We think the asphalt's already hot and warm because it's black. Yeah. But um the smell is unbearable. It's so strong. Just just leave out a couple of prawns and shrimp for a day and that's what it smells like. No more shrimps for me in Vietnam. <laughs> but on that... on the street, on the asphalt. That's what you call street food. <laughs> It's like each house has their own little fishing hole. I saw a few people fishing. Yeah, they have those little ponds next to their house. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. I don't know where we are, but we just passing so many temples. We are getting close to the imperial city of Ue. And I don't know, Great we're gonna ask. Hmm? Good pronunciation. Yeah, I learned. Look <laughs> at that one. Wow. Wow. And here in this village, they have state-of-the-art boats. No, seriously, look, it's like, Vietnamese ingenuity. There's the, the styrofoam tubes on the side. There's an engine just inside. Just inside there. And it comes out. It comes out there. It's incredible. Beautiful boat. Real beautiful boat. They're beautiful, yeah. They're impressive. They're, they're different. Very different. So we just left the beach and our horn doesn't work. It's a bit of a problem. It's a huge problem because here in Vietnam, the horn is everything. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the traffic signal. Um, it's not anger. Yeah. It's not anger like it is in the States. <laughs> so we're here at a mechanic in a little remote village, but it's just after lunch and there's no mechanic here. So we're just going to wait. We can't even honk. He's probably sleeping because it's just after lunch. We waited for like 20 minutes and finally someone came out. It's funny because we were making a joke and say like maybe he's at the wedding because we can hear singing and we saw actually a big party coming here. And actually who came out and the wife said that he's at the wedding. <laughs> yeah. So we have to go to the next village and find someone else. Yeah. But what's going on? I don't know. Checking the horn, we went to the next village and found this one. Fixed. We also got a, an oil change. <laughs> it was super quick, the quickest oil change ever. <laughs> and it, it changed the horn. 
yeah. Everything costs us 120,000 Vietnamese dong. It's a lot of money. It was like 20 minutes of work. It was super fast. Yeah, great, awesome. Good morning, good morning everyone. We are hello, hello. in Hue. We're gonna be taking you through all kinds of food here and cuisine. It's super special. So there's a lot of Chinese influence here with food, with culture. It's very different. Yeah. We are at the Dongma market and we join a free walking tour, which we love to do this when we go in the big cities because it's from locals. Usually they're volunteers, they're students. They want to practice their English and yeah. share their knowledge about the places. So it's let's check it out. So our guide has arrived, finally. I think we're gonna be snacking all day long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a mung bean dumpling, what's the name? Uh, yeah, balak dong san. And the flavor of the fish sauce, it was really good in the morning. <laughs> it's actually kind of sweet. It's not bad, it's um, it's really good for breakfast. It's really light, easy, easy to eat. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I think we're gonna get some coffee before we start the, uh, the official tour. And the Vietnamese make amazing coffee. This is Bak Siu. Yeah, and that's the one I like. Yeah. I like it because it's like more uh, milk than coffee. This is the same coffee we had with the monk. <laughs> Thank you Vietnam for giving me addiction to caffeine. <laughs> well, these are some typical sweets they eat for breakfast after coffee. So we are, here we are with the locals. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you want to? I'll take the lotus, taro and red bean. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is why the Vietnamese are not that fat like the Americans. Yeah. You like it? I like it. It's sweet of sugar is so It's not too sweet. I was like, mm -hmm. You know that you. Americans eat donuts and Vietnamese have healthy stuff. I like this tradition. <laughs> I mean, uh, some of the uh, sweet soup in here in like um, lotus uh, sweet soup, banana sweet soup is uh, for the tin plants in the past. Oh, yeah. okay, very cool. Because the season, uh, the season in the summer is very hot, and so we um, drink um, this uh, sweet soup is feel better and feel cold uh, ah, okay. and refreshing. Yeah, feel clean. And then, so this is a shrimp paste. Kind of what we saw earlier, uh, all the shrimps laid out on the street. They dry it and they ferment it with chili. The smell is incredible. It's, it's all out here. It's, it's intense. It's intense. Wow. That's what they use the baby shrimp for. Ah, it's a shrimp paste. All right, bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> We're doing a little tour, but it's but it's lunchtime and I think we're going to someone's house too. Yeah, eat. I'm not sure, but it's a vegetarian place. They actually have the whole menu in English. Yes. This is a mung bean dumpling. They have tofu, shiitake with carrots, seaweed with a spicy fish sauce, and all the herbs with the banana flowers mixed in. It's two dollars. Mm. Oh, nice. It's really good. Thank you. She's the chef. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this is the chai corner. Chai yes. corner. Yes. Yes. Come here if you're in Hue because it's in the middle of out of the city, in the middle of this village, and it's completely worth it. <laughs> really good. She's, she's lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. This is a super popular place along for locals. It's in the citadel in Hue, so it's in a great spot at night. Uh, you have an amazing drive on the way here. So what it is, it's basically fish noodles. And they use a different kind of noodle with uh, tapioca flour. And it's all, it's all made by hand. They're rolling it out right now as we speak. And um, it is 
dro drop straight in the hot soup with pork bones. And the fish is a Snake River fish. So it's similar to catfish, um, but tastes much, much better. <laughs> So those are the noodles. They roll them and they cut them with the round cylinder mold into the boiling stock. So cool. Wow. <laughs> That's how they turn out. Oh wow. Yeah. Smells delicious. And the, the fish is marinated in this like turmeric spice mix. This is great. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> I can see why this place is a favorite. It's really good. It's not the flavor I was expecting. It's actually better. Mm. And the tapioca noodles are so fresh. Wow, I love it with the onion and with the soup all together. It's such a comforting dish at night. It's kind of chilly. Great food. Great, great food. Okay. Time for me to try to cameraman here. I always have to wait. <laughs> bon appetito. Oh, it's delicious for only 70 for, for two yeah. for two soups and, and some quail eggs it was really good now I think um, we're just gonna go for a drive around the Citadel and maybe go for a walk because it's such a nice beautiful night finally so this is the this is the perfume river and this is where all the, the nightlife is everyone goes for a walk after after the evening and dinner Wow, everyone's playing hacky sack. When I was a kid, I used to love that game. We're having a private show. <laughs> We're gonna do one dance, one dance. One dance where we travel slow. So we're here in the Citadel in Hue and see what it's like because I'm curious. Hello! Hello! High five! High five! High five! Hello! 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 Bye bye teacher! Bye bye teacher! It's so cute! The kids are the best! Oh, they make me cry! <laughs> <laughs> so Vietnam used to be a monarchy for hundreds of years and the last remaining building of the king where he lived in the Forbidden City is the one behind me which was recently built, uh, rebuilt literally two months ago it's pretty incredible like they kept the whole Forbidden City you know, and restored it the best they could uh, it feels like here in where we've been on a food tour <laughs> more than a tour which is great though because the food here is like very different from the north like there's so much variety so so much to choose from yeah. and this is called Rio Hua as the chef and what is it? it's a crab roe crab and tofu soup with noodles so we're trying it Wow, it has a very light crab taste. It's like a more of a vegetable broth with pieces of, of crab. It's actually very refreshing. It's, it's nice. There's already lime, the Vietnamese lime, which is like a kind of kumquat. That's good. I like it. Can you try that crab cake? Yeah, next. It's a crab roe. Eee! Mm. You're eating millions of crabs. Thousands. Nice. Very mild. Very subtle. 
It's a little fatty. I think it's mixed with pork. It's good. It's, I think it's pig's blood or duck blood. Either one. Strong? Pig blood, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, buon appetito. Tofu, thank you. <laughs> I didn't order this one. Um, I'll stick to my banciao. <laughs> we're gonna leave uh, Ue soon. So we're gonna have lunch, pack our stuff, and go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching our trip. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe so you can follow our journey. And see you next week. Yeah, see ya. Ciao. Ciao.